added like 400,000 barrels per day to production in November. Is current price level an obstacle for recovery? Um, and should OPEC be pumping more? Well, the United States is not a member of OPEC, as you know. Uh, well, we, we do communicate. Uh, we, with our international partners who, partners who are members of OPEC uh, and convey, as we did a few months ago, uh, our, uh, our urging uh, to find a compromise solution to allow proposed production increases to move forward, as they did several months ago. Uh, I would note, as it relates to gas prices here, uh, gas one, what we're seeing in some parts of the country is that gasoline prices naturally ticking up. Uh, in part in the wake of uh, Hurricane Ida, because the hurricane hit a region that is a key center of the nation's oil production and refining infrastructure. And we've been working around the clock with the state and local governments for the last month to, of course, restore electricity and also help facilities get back online for production to ensure that did not have an impact on, uh, at, on oil prices and gasoline here. And the Department of Energy also authorized several million barrels of strategic petroleum reserve exchanges through that period of time. We also announced a couple of recent steps. So the point is here, uh, we are, while we're not a member of OPEC, we're also taking a number of steps and have been uh, to plan for, protect against rising prices here within the purview of what we have. In the Department of Transportation extended and amended an emergency declaration offering temporary flexibility to how many hours a truck driver can drive. Uh, they applied nationally to goods that support COVID-19 response as well as gasoline and other types of, of fuel, building materials, et cetera, in an effort to ensure this was not having an impact. Um, and the last thing I would note is that back in August, uh, NEC Director Brian Deese also sent a letter to the FTC Director Lena Khan asking the FTC to use all of its available tools to monitor the gasoline market and take action as needed. She responded to that and said she would look into it. So we are going to continue to use every tool at our disposal, even as we're not a member of OPEC, to ensure we can keep gas prices down for the American public. Go ahead. <laughs> 